Thank you. Um, I would say, you know, there were nerves, you know, coming up here, but overall we knew going into practices that we were going to have to work harder and um, be as strong as we could coming into it. And we knew, like, they're, they're tough. They are the reigning champs. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was winning every possession and not looking at the scoreboard and, you know, just kind of going it play by play. I just thought it was like a great opportunity because not everybody gets this opportunity every day. So I feel like um, it was just a great opportunity for us to be able to go out there and play against the reigning champs. So, yeah. Um, uh, it was just a good, like P said, it was a good opportunity to play like some of the best people in the country, you know, like that's not something that comes around and just being able to embrace the moment and just leave it all out on the court, you know, it was just an experience. Yeah, I think exactly what they said for us, um, in our world of Division Three sports, we don't get to have too many approaches to scouting reports and things of the nature in this. So. From a coaching perspective, it was really um, unique for us, um, just trying to have a game plan and take approach of um, win the possession, like they said. So coming into it, we knew it was a David versus Goliath uh, type of matchup, but um, just really proud of our girls embracing this. Um, hopefully they take something positive away, but also more importantly, um, they'll have a memory of a lifetime to share with their, their kids and loved ones um, from here on out. So. Uh, this is just for Michaela. Uh, could you just talk about what you're thinking, this being your first game going into your senior year? Um, first game going into my senior year, I think, like Pate said, you know, it was just a great opportunity um, to really set the season up um, with the best team in the country, honestly. You know, uh, playing as hard as we did with them, I know, like, going into this season and, like, who we have coming up next and following that, that we're going to be ready, and we're going to just keep pushing and keep trying, and we're going to get there. Uh, Reed Darcy with The Advocate. Um, just overall, what do you guys think this um, LSU team sort of does for women's basketball as a whole, as a sport, you know, the last year's team and this year's team as well? I feel like personally, or just from the standpoint of being – a female basketball player like I love the edge and competitiveness and like how guys sports is always really tough and at each other's throats and everything like that but it's fr it's friendly off the court and nothing's like personal so I just love like the image they set for it you know just making it like it's okay you know it's okay to go out there and play and be tough and be a hooper you know so I thought that was cool being able to you know, play, play in the same field with them and then just being able to relay it over to our conference and our play and everything like that, you know. I also feel like they set a very high tone for everybody and they give off this great image. And, you know, people don't really used to pay attention to women's sports, but I feel like now, like, they're starting to. It's becoming more and more, like, something that people want to watch. Even with the WNBA and the Iowa and DePaul game, you see more and more people are starting to go. So I feel like it's on the come up of, like, sports in general. So. Yeah, I, w I would agree. Um, just what they did, um, us being a Texas school, we were able to go to the Final Four, and it was phenomenal just what um, the turnout was for a women's basketball event um, like that, large in part to this university um, and this team and what they did last year. But then being able to just stand for something and not be afraid of who they were, I think um, from a coaching perspective in a world of women, um, it's been awesome to see. And you have greats like Kim Mulkey leading that charge, but um, she said it to me before tip-off. I was like, tell me the secret. And she was like, you just find people who match you. And I think that's exactly what it is. And I think that's why so many people are drawn to this team is because they're not afraid to be who they are. And it just represents and sends a message. And for us here at ETBU, we try to do that obviously on a lot smaller scale. 
Um, but we we live and coach and play this sport for a such higher purpose than just winning games. That's our platform, and I think LSU women's basketball did that last year, and they continue to do that. Um, and just what those individual players have done, just the name in, image likeness has been phenomenal for women's basketball, not just Division One, but even all of us here at Division Three. It's been it's been great to be a part of, and I'm proud to say um, I'm a part of women's basketball at this time. Coach, being a Division Three school, taking on Division One national champions, two part question. First of all, Division Three shown in the light tonight. Talk about Division Three being able to be in the limelight tonight, playing something like this, and the, the players too. And then two, you lost all five of your starters last year, and this was a brand new team. Talk about how, and you guys too, how it was fun to come together, travel, and be on such a playing field like this tonight to help kick off the season and bring this team together with, with everybody coming together, ten newcomers, nine returners, and gelling this team together. Yeah, I think the most important part was um, LSU allowing us this opportunity. I mean, being a defending national champ, you could probably have the pick of the whole country to play, and they gave us an opportunity. And I think that speaks highly of the program and the university itself. So coming into it, um, we just wanted to get this experience. For me as a coach, it was why not, right? Why not let our team and players who – work just as hard, just on a smaller scale, be able to um, experience that. And so every year as um, a coach, I try to give our girls a lasting experience each year that they may not be able to get without women's basketball. So this was that for us. Um, I also think athletically it sets a tone for our season, um, knowing that it's the next possession. We step on the floor and the score may not show up, but we were winning battles and possessions toe to toe with the best in the country. So um, for us, it was great, obviously a lot to work on, but um, we'll be forever grateful to this university and uh, Coach Mulkey and, and the players because they, they represented how you can be competitive and they went at us and then they put a hand down to help us up and they went right back at us. And um, I think Jayla hinted on that. Like you can compete in a way that's cutthroat, dog eat dog. Um, and then still be a human being off the floor. So that's what I got from it. I'm excited about our group, um, but we're a long way from where we need to be. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.